Good day. Today I'm going to explain to you the use of the Snellen chart. The Snellen chart is being used for uh, determining visual acuity. Uh, the Snellen chart is the chart that we use with the letters on, um, and then you also get the E chart uh, that is used for children older than two years and illiterate people. Uh, in that case, we just ask them to show in which direction the, the legs of the knee are showing. Um, so, these letters are, uh, each component of a letter um, is one minute of arc. Now, what do we mean with one minute of arc? That is the distance, and in this case it, should, it will be six meters from the, leg, from, from the chart. Um, and uh, the minimum uh, um, angle of resolution is this distance here between two cones next to each other being able to uh, see the difference in resolution. Um, so uh, at six meters, so if you look at, at this six, six line, then you can at six meters two cones will be able to uh, distinguish that distance. So one letter is actually five minutes of R because it's that it's one minute, two, three, four, five minutes of R. Um, so now I'm just going to explain to you the chart. So on the chart there are different uh, numbers. So let us, let's start here on the right hand side. So if you look here, then you can see there are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What that means is that that's just an indication of the line the patient should read. So you do not use these uh, numbers in uh, interpretation of the visual acuity. So if the patient is standing 6 meters from the job, you ask them to read from the top and the patient can read up to here then you will say okay this patient uh, its visual acuity is six so the, the nominator is the distance from the job so that's the six meters over 15 so what it means is this patient can read at six meters what a normal patient can read at 15 meters so just to show you on the chart, so if you look here on the left hand side, you can see there is 2200, 20, 20 70. We do not use this because this is feet. Um, so if you look on this side, then you can see at the top the feet, so that corresponds with this number here, but the bottom one is meters. So that is 60 meters, 30 meters, 21, 15, 12. Um, so that is what we use in the interpretation of the vision period. So if the patient is standing 6 meters from the chart, they can read up to line number 5. Then we will say the visual acuity is 6, it's the distance from the chart. And, um, you can read up to line number 5, but there you can see it's 12, so then you will say the visual acuity is 6 over 12. So what does that mean? It means this patient can read at 6 meters, what a normal patient can read at 12 meters. Now I'm going to explain the Pinnell test. The Pinnell test is used to determine if a patient needs a refraction or if a patient needs a, a as pathology and needs an ophthalmological examination. Um, the final uh, test is where we ask the patient to look through a hole. It can be a test like this, where the patient looks through an uh, instrument with small little holes in, or you can even make your own by using a piece of car, uh, cardboard with a small little hole in that and explain to the patient they have to look through the hole and read the chart. So at 6 meters you ask the patient to read through uh, the pinhole the chart. If the patient sees better it means that they have a 
refractive error. So if a patient could read up to line number five without the panel, you do the panel test, ask the patient to look through the panel and read again, and now they can read up to line number seven. Then the visual acuity improved, and that means that the patient has got a refractive error. If there's no improvement of the vision, usually it's an indication of pathology. I just want to explain to you the principles of the Penault test and why it works. So if you look at the eye um, and you've got the lens, so your peripheral rays are refracted through your lens so that it focuses on the retina. So if you look, the peripheral rays are refracted much more than the central ray. So this central ray is uh, refracted less. So if you use a pinhole, so if you put a pinhole in front of a patient's eye, what happens is, is you take away these um, peripheral rays, so the peripheral rays the, with the most refraction is, is uh, cancelled out and it's only the central ray that goes to the retina and that is usually closer to the retina and that is why the patient sees better with a pinhole if they've got a refractive error. If the patient has got pathology, so say for instance the patient has got a cataract, it will make no difference in his vision or if there's uh, vitreous hemorrhage, uh, so if there's any pathology the vision will not be better with a pinhole. But if there's a refractive error, you uh, cancel out the peripheral rays and the visual acuity will improve. 